You are now entering the world of Musings of a Geek Podcast Network. Stay geeky, my friends. This is a Danger Entertainment Podcast. DangerEntertainment.net Danger Entertainment Podcast Network. Put that coffee down. Call and all film fans want to add a little more fun to your podcast diet? Well, why not listen to the 365 Flicks podcast? We're the lads from Smallville, UK. We love to bring you the latest news, our own special brand of meaningless movie nonsense, as well as a bunch of top fives you really won't care about. I'm Kev. I'm Chris. We're pissy. We're fanboys. We're having another beer. We're the 365 Flicks podcast. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, iTunes, Podomatic, and many, many others. Also look for us on musingsofageek.com and wickedradionetwork.com. Sick of listening to all those overpaid movie critics? Then tune in to the 365 Flicks podcast, your vocal heroes of pissy opinion. What? Jason impersonates Michael Caine. Some people just want to watch World Book. Jeff nails another draft day. Nailed Blake's it. Top 5 has 98. I got one so more. Just loves him some Kevin James. Fucking Kevin James. It's the history of bad. It's bad. It's the history of bad. So, so bad. It's the history of bad ideas. It's the history of bad. Oh, yeah. Remy. It's the history of bad. LaCroix. Welcome to History of Bad Ideas, episode 103. I'm Jason. I'm Jeff. I'm Blake. And, and intro, new intro, live in the studio with, what, uh, I, I, I don't even know what title to give you, Chris, there, but... Uh, musician to... Musician and doctor to the stars. There you go. <laughs> Dr. Bednar. Welcome, doctor. And sometimes accused of Nazism. Wow! <laughs> It's not accused if it's true. Alleged. Anyway. <laughs> alleged. Alleged Nazi. Sorry. Sorry. Let, let it be known that I, I dislike Nazis. <laughs> putting it out there on the record. That's right a good now. stance to take. That's like, a tough yeah, one. You're you know. really on the edge on that you know, one. I, was, uh, I once heard Martin Schott say that Hitler wasn't so bad at the beginning, though. <laughs> no, he did. He did build roads. He built roads. Well, at the beginning. You know what? I'm not going to go there. <laughs> he built roads, Marge, so he could get the tanks to the yeah. places. He built well, roads so he can invade countries. <laughs> But he still built roads. <laughs> and the aqueducts. And the aqueducts. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What have the Nazis oh, ever yeah, done yeah, for yeah, us? Yeah, yeah. The, the, aqueduct, yeah. the th- No good could come of this. No, 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 no. I just ended. And well, on a Christmas episode, too. That's the 103. <laughs> Welcome. Be merry. Uh, we got number one fan in the studio, Doug. How was Star Wars? Look. Let us know. Well, the best part. I was disappointed. I'm so upset. Let me explain. When Jar Jar Binks was revealed to be Kylo Ren, that was the greatest thing ever. And then, you know, who knew that Chewie and Leia had a kid? I I haven't seen it yet. Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay, okay. (laughs) Oh, by the way, we're recording this before the movie came out. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> Dick Man, welcome. This Film is critic to the stars. For your pleasure. Uh, for a little bit, uh, Gimp is going to be out. Nick, welcome. Yeah. Good to be back. Good. Yeah, ball Soon. gag out of the mouth. Soon you're going to be going back in that corner. Wake him up. Put him back to sleep. Uh, we're on nerdly.co.uk, uh, Tangent Bound mm-hmm. Network, and. Uh, I don't know, a lot of other ones. Wicket Radio Network, <laughs> Danger Entertainment Network, Musings of a Geek Network. Uh, we're on the uh, Geek Life Radio, Geek 10 a.m. Eastern, 9 a.m. Central every Friday. And we're on WeBeGeeksPC.com, so check all of them out. Uh, anything going on since last time we recorded? It was a long time ago. <laughs> uh, the Bengals lost some more yardage or something. Oh, okay. They well, scored three points. They're down 26-13. Doesn't look good. So, A.J. McCarron. So, yay? Yay. Yeah. It's like Kenyon Martin all over again with UC. <sighs> Never thought I would say it, but man, I want Dalton back in. <sighs> so, Doug, how's your cheating Patriots? Fantastic. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. Fantastic. Are, are they winning the Super Bowl this year? Have they, what are they? Okay. Have they cheated yet today? Have we heard? Uh, 
No, they haven't played yet. If you're not cheating. That is true. That is true. You know, Blake, how's your Browns? Suck. Okay. Twenty-four to three, they're winning, and they're going to gain a game on the Bengals this week. That's right, suckers. <laughs> well, can't argue with that. If it were a twenty-five week season, only eight, eight games out. <laughs> in a sixteen-game season, even the Browns, even the Browns, fuck up how to win the number one draft pick. <laughs> yeah. yep. Well done, guys. Well done. That takes some pressure off of being the overall number one. We couldn't handle yeah, true yeah, number yeah, one. Yeah. He would let the time pass. <laughs> exactly. We would lose it anyways, regardless. Joey Bosa sure let the time months. pass, and then there'd be eight people lined up to turn theirs in. Is exactly. everybody the overall number one? I think nope. Joey Bosa's right now. Everybody's talking. Who? Joey Bosa. No. From who? Buckeyes. <laughs> Bozo? But he, is but that he, the two, he a clown? Is that the two-time national champion, Buckeyes? He is throwing a party, yeah. so we don't have to go to the Browns. I'd give you 20 if you called him Bozo to his face. Okay. Bozo? <laughs> Why are you saying Bozo to Dip Man? <laughs> <laughs> he just told me to give me 20 bucks to do it. They say, they say <laughs> Bosa's preparing for the NFL draft. That means he's already skipping classes. Right. Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> and getting <laughs> tattoos. That's right. He's already not going to class anymore. Getting tattoos. That's you right. know, he's picking up hookers, allegedly. You're assuming that he actually um, was going to a class. <laughs> <laughs> that's Ohio State. No one cares. Yeah. Oh, we, we, we got a new guest in the uh, studio here. Who is that? That's uh, your nephew, Fish. Fish! fish. Welcome, Fish! <laughs> 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 ah! Are you going to sit with us? I don't know. Ah! <laughs> so we have more audience members. Spectator. If you would like to, you can come over and bring a chair. It's okay. So do we have to roll that? This has been taped for a live studio audience. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I want to be a Danette. What? Well, he wants to be a Danette. What's a Danette? The guys on the Dan Patrick show. It's like a oh. it's like a donut. Dan yeah. Patrick is lesser than the Pohobie podcast. Donut. Okay, we got a lot more real listeners. Uh, I stopped. I stopped watching the Dan Patrick show when they moved from Fox Sports to whatever they're on that I can never find. Fuse. Fuse probably. <laughs> it's like I used to be able to MTV. watch them. Now I don't know where they are. So. MTV Two. <laughs> MTV Seven. It's music videos and Dan and Patrick Dan show. <laughs> Right next to Kyle, Colin, whatever, Kaepernick show. <laughs> well, he's not going to be a quarterback next year, so he might as well be a radio host. He's preparing for his life after football. <laughs> I was so excited when I got him in the keeper sure, round of the fancy need draft. Colin Farrell. <laughs> uh, has anyone seen Arrow, the last episode before the winter finale? No. Yes. Did you like it? Yeah. Okay, Jeff, cover yours. No, 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 no. Okay. I, I don't She better be dead. Yes, I'm with you on that. She better be. And and I don't care about his kid. No, I don't either. I don't. I don't care about their personal lives. I no. don't care. No. Oh no, it was, it was bad. It was okay show. Yeah. I like how Damian Dark has a family. Yes, I did not yes. expect that. Yes, and the guy who plays him, I can't remember what his name. Yeah, he, he's really good. Yeah, he is good. Um, but right. yeah, you done? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then when <laughs> Arrow got syphilis, oh, oh no! <laughs> oh no! I did. I mean, they said at the beginning. Oh, sorry. <laughs> This is the episode where Arrow gets syphilis. Has <laughs> anyone seen Agents of Shield? <laughs> the name of the episode is that Arrow is syphilis. A very trailer. special episode. A very special episode. <laughs> it was like that Family Ties episode. <laughs> There's I'm never sponsored. enough time! Sponsored by Remy LaCroix. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure to have the appropriate conversation with your teenage sons or daughters after this episode. <laughs> syphilis is a major thing. <laughs> Penicillin is not the cure. <laughs> Racks don't get syphilis. I, I have to talk. Fish, fish, where, where's your syphilis talk? Sixth grade or something? Anybody seen Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. in this season finale? Uh, yes. Yes. And? Thoughts? Uh, I'm trying to remember what it was. Uh, oh, yeah. Ward comes back? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, okay, so he's now... Ward's dead, but now possessed by the <clears throat> alien thing. Yes. Yes. I don't know. I liked Ward as himself. I liked it all the way up until that, that the last reveal. I liked that uh, Coulson killed him. Yes. yes. Je- like nicely. Like he okay. Nicely. Well, after he he was about he was still By suffering. Crushing his rib cage into his heart. But, yes, but he was so suffering. Nice. Was so tenderly, tender way of killing. If I gotta go, can you please just crush my rib cage through my heart? And I may have missed it, but why were they trying to kill Fitz? Like, why was that guy? They wanted to use Fitz as the sacrifice. No, 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 no. The guy that he was saving. Um, Fitz. Uh, who? Well, because he was possessed by the... He oh, was possessed. Okay, yes. okay. Yes. Will was already dead. And, and, okay. And that was, that was my problem is the, the possession of it, of this Will character was 
like a little slug or something. That that was the big. Th- yeah. Is that, that is. something from comics? I Not just, that I know of. Uh, kind of like is a, it Adam Warlock? Star <laughs> Star Trek Two: Wrath of Khan. That's like, exactly what I was yeah. thinking. Yeah. Yeah. I was waiting for it to come out his ear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh my god, the thing's coming! Like, in the earlier episodes, yeah. uh, the flashback when they were on the planet, and big storms are coming, and you're all worried, and blah, 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 and it turns out to be a slug about the size yeah, of a yeah. finger. Okay. A scary Ooh. slug. Oh! Grr! I did Grr! Like Grr! Grr! So, so why was he <laughs> still in his... slug. <laughs> <laughs> why, why was he still in his, his camp or his, his I don't know unless he saw it come through and said oh I'll go hide I don't know but, but didn't he know who Fitz was how would he I, I don't know it's just well he figured Fitz would find him there because the he figured the first issue was when it says written by George Lucas this episode <laughs> that was kind of an issue kind of an issue um, I thought it was okay you know yeah. I'm intrigued to see what they do with it I'm kind of like, oh, it's not coming back until March or February or whatever it's coming back. I was right. like, oh, yeah, well, they got the... Agent Carter over here. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't too sold on Agent Carter. I, I like, her, char- I like her character, but I thought the writing was not that great. So. I'm actually seven episodes behind an Agent Carter. <laughs> <laughs> I only saw the first one. <laughs> <laughs> The season first episode one. of season one first is the only one I will watch. One. Maybe two mm-hmm. episodes. I don't know. How about know. Gotham? Anyone see Gotham mid-season finale? Yep. I haven't yet. I have to watch it still. Am I the only one here? Come no, on. I think I've seen it. I'm just, there wasn't a new one this past week, right? No. Okay, yeah. No. yeah I saw I've seen the season. previews. It looked a little I, fantastical. I liked how Bruce Wayne finally has some balls after the last two episodes. He's growing up. He's growing up, but yeah, I, still, still, it should be without Bruce. When so. he played Silver St. Cloud two episodes ago with the fake... Uh, yeah. with, that was awesome. I love that. He's getting there. So. Give him a break, man. He's what, 11? 15. 11? I, I, I think he's... <laughs> Supposed to be like thirteen in the thirteen or fourteen. Uh, uh, I think when it started, he was twelve. Oh, okay. I, I, thought, don't know. I thought they gave his age as twelve when it started. But. It's not a horrible season. But so he's like thirteen or fourteen, and he's already in love and macking on uh, silver or whatever. Did you say macking on? I said macking on. Fish, you're young in love. He's spitting some game. <laughs> I do like what they're doing. DJ with, Jazzy with Jeff in the house. I like Edward and uh, Enigma. I like him, the Riddler. Yeah, he yeah, has Enigma become a long that. way. That's that's a good combination with him teaming up with Penguin yeah. now. So I think you got a good. I like him now more than I like Penguin, <laughs> and I used to love Penguin. I, I I didn't like them working together with the cops or with Gordon. Right, and, but they had to introduce that. And, and but, how, well, how, how so now now the cops know that okay, Enigma's working with. A right. penguin, so now we can't trust him. So it pretty much blows his cover. I mean, they don't know he's the killer, yeah, but he had, he, they know he's. He had accepted his cover was blown. I mean, he knew he was out. It's not like he was going to be able to hang around the police department. I don't know. Long, right? Help me out here, though. Could have. So, Gordon's um, cop dies uh, because of the assassin three episodes ago. Oh yeah. Okay. The, 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 the second cannibal. two episodes ago, he's all dressed to his nines in the funeral for the cop. It's like. You just lost like 37 cops the last two months on this job. And now we're going to make a big focus on this woman? He's uh, in love with her. No, 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 no. He's the one because I didn't put the assassin down when I had the chance. And I'm like, you lost 37 other cops. Like, I'm sorry, but that was my big issue. That, that was it. But it was okay. Gotham's not horrible this year. I like the Riddler. So, that's about it. <laughs> it's not horrible. <laughs> that's pr- high praise. Uh, Jeff, uh, we didn't do this top five, but your favorite Christmas songs, Chris, Jeff was saying. Anybody want to throw <laughs> some out there? Oh, well, okay. <laughs> you caught me off guard because I didn't, I didn't plan it. Uh, oh, well, you're the one I talked about. Well, my, favorite, my, my favorite Christmas song is Mr. Hanky, The Christmas Pill. <laughs> From South Park? Okay. From South Park. Okay. Followed closely by the Dreidel song. Ooh, dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. I made you out of clay. Dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. With dreidel, I will play. Won't that be Second a verse, song? same as it the first. It is a Hanukkah song, okay. not a Christmas song. Okay. Uh, the whole season is Christmas season. I don't oh, care. Okay. Whatever, okay. Wow. whatever you sing in the month of December. We are religiously <laughs> intolerant on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we started with Nazi talk. <laughs> I'm offended by the dreidel over here. Just letting you know. I, I don't know why yet. <laughs> Nazi Chris is offended by the dreidel. <laughs> Dr. Nazi. Dr. Nazi. <laughs> I don't know what's worse, Dr. Nazi or Dr. Detroit. Which one's worse? Ah. Uh, Blake, what's your favorite Christmas holiday th- song? Uh, I like them all. Way to be noncommittal. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, how about you? We've been lo- listening to a lot of uh, 
I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. My girl. Oh, I like that song. I feel sorry That's for an awesome you. Song. That is a horrible song. Might as well take the yowling and the chipmunks. I think I want a hula hoop. Yeah, I've heard that one a lot too. <laughs> what is that song? <laughs> it's a Christmas song. You even got l- laughter from the crowd. <laughs> what the hell is that he's song? He's because he's got it in his coat. The audience, <laughs> the audience is in stitches. <laughs> Uh, it's on the radio, they just played it as uh, the slow down. We can't hear you on your back there! <laughs> <laughs> so he just heard it on the radio, but at the regular speed this version. This is a participatory... Oh, Where's security? Where's security? <laughs> Where's security? <laughs> that dog is asleep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so, let's start our feedback. Let's start with Blake. Sure. Uh, <laughs> that episode was awesome. No, 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 Blake, you're not listening. <laughs> oh! <laughs> He's giving his feedback. <laughs> Yeah, all right, we can start off with... Uh, Blake is a listener. He's I mean, trying to stuff his pez. We can start number one fan, Doug. Um, the, the, the feedback you have here, you already asked. I already asked. I don't, I, you're slipping. You Will you be attending the Bengals home Yeah, you, you've already discussed that. Did we? Yes, you did. Yes, the day it came out. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, okay. Well, then my... So I, I, I made up my own. Okay, okay. good call. Let's here we go. go. The McRib's back. Yay or nay? Oh, God. Well, nay. The McRib should never leave. Exactly. The McRib should never be, so be here. But oh, I don't need special, it to be special. Right? I just need it to be there. <laughs> That's what many women say to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> I'll never have <laughs> But I'm dumb. I don't need you to be anything special. Just be there. Just exist. <laughs> just lay there. <laughs> I can, do that. <laughs> I, I can do that. I mean, actually, pretty good at that. Actually, a lot of practice in that. <laughs> pretty good at just laying there. <laughs> Ooh, I love our Christmas episode. <laughs> and it, it's a family podcast. It is. It is. Uh, let's see here. Um, uh, I, I, okay, I don't okay. know what the question okay, was. Go, what was, it, what was the question? Yeah, your name, McRib. Oh, nay. Oh, that's awful. Jeff Sex Life. I, I, I don't know the connection, but. It there is, obviously it is, is one. It is like Jeff Sex Life. It comes around once a year. It is like Jeff Sex Life. It comes around once a year. It is like Jeff Sex Life. It comes around once a year. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> And, and is, on his birthday. <laughs> and his tangy. Tangy sauce. His little crunchy bun. Tangy sauce. Wow! <laughs> okay, we just crossed some line on that one. Uh, crunchy the audience. Bun. <laughs> Cut to commercial. Uh, next, gonna, uh, wait, next, next, next. Uh, he's gonna Willard whip it up. Scott retires. Thank God. What are some of your favorite Willard Scott memories? When he dies. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Let's see when he was Ronald McDonald. Yeah. No. Does anybody watch the Today Show? I didn't even realize he was still on it. Yeah, I do once in a while when I work from home. Uh, oh yeah, I didn't realize that either. I thought, I thought he'd been replaced. He's not ago. It too. I thought he was replaced by Al Roker. Yeah, he what is. He? But Willard Scott comes on like once in a while, and he's oh, like, he? "Here's a h- person that's a hundred and two today." Ho ho ho! Jeez, Florence, hope you have a good birthday. Don't die. That's what he says. That's what they say back to him. <laughs> you. <laughs> hundred and two today. I hope you have a good. Oh, Never mind. Never mind. Smucker's birthday <laughs> wishes to uh, <laughs> Smucker's birthday wishes to Willard Scott today. Wait a minute, because he's been on the show sixty years or something. Like, yeah, so. yeah, that's way too long. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even know it's been on the air for sixty-five years. Some iteration. So okay, okay then my final one is yes. Time Warner CEO said Wonder Woman will bring women to superhero movies. Where are sure they now? Because Supergirl didn't. It only at 75% of the cost. <laughs> God. <laughs> wow. Uh, I'm hoping... No, you have to turn that around, Blake. It's 125% of the cost. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have a hotel room inside mm. through the lobbies. Anyway, are you okay. Are another diva? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm saying... Can't just stay at a Motel 60. I was thinking, by himself. By himself. I was thinking Black Widow Shower cap uh, should have brought it <laughs> to the forefront because she's a lot better character. But, but they're saying women don't go to but Captain she's America. A... Women don't go to Iron Man. Black uh, Widow's not a forefront character. Yeah, though. she should, be. But, should but be. but I think it was more bring women audience to the movies. I don't know if they really will. I don't know if she will, Wonder Woman. More, I think it make it... Ki- Isn't the audience already there? Yeah, I think Chris Pratt's abs will bring more. Yeah, I mean, I think Chris Pratt does just as much for 
I mean, I'm not trying to break it down like all women only look break at the down. candy. <laughs> break it down. But I'm just saying, I think that I think the movies are good enough that it doesn't matter anymore. Um, I, of course, I saw a convention a couple of weeks ago on the news that you know Supergirl, the girl that plays her, Melissa Benoit, she was at at this con and she came out and there's all these little girls dressed in Supergirl outfits cheering. That's awesome. I don't like Supergirl, but it's a gr- it's awesome that they're you know at least building that demographic. But I don't know if it's going to bring women. Do you think? What do you think? Anybody? I think it's going to be pretty much the same audience that's going to the superhero movies now. Probably. There are women in those. They're not majority women. They're probably, what, 25, 75? Yeah. Something yeah. like that. And I think it's going to be pretty much the same ratio. Anything else, Doug? Well, just a, a, a corollary to that. You know, I saw the, the, the Batman trailer. Yeah. Wonder Woman carries a sword? Yeah. Really? Yeah. She's more. That's more of her Greek yeah, mythology. Uh, was, they, they kind of changed her throughout the years, and yeah, there's one where she had a sword and shield. I think is yeah, uh, that's what she has in the trailer. Yeah, I think that was the '90s or something when they redid her. I think they're doing a lot more with the Greek mythology of her. So that's why they should do it. Yeah. So is the invisible jet just a TV thing, or is that no? A, they said they may be talking about. But, but I mean, was that was that a comic book thing? I think it was a TV thing. Of Rick first, I think it was maybe, but on the Super Friends. I could be wrong. I thought, but they did incorporate that into the comics. I think they said in the movies they're just going to make it like a cloaking device. So is what they're going to do. And they shouldn't. And it, she could fly. She doesn't need a freaking jet. Yeah, I know. I don't get that. It's like <laughs> everybody needs a jet. It's like when Spider Man has a car in the comic books now. He can web sling anywhere, and he doesn't have to worry about traffic. Why does he have a car? That doesn't make sense. Because he can't web sling through the prairies. <laughs> Web, sling, web swinging doesn't get the chicks either. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Big Spider-Man logo on the front wheel, right. though. <laughs> we got next, uh, Blake, for Michael Leal. Lee? Uh, Michael Lee? Michael Leal. <laughs> it says, uh, best and worst Christmas gifts you received or gave. Oh. Pam, Maris, Pam Morris already responded. It's the best she ever got or gave. What? Wait, best was an Atari 2600 that my parents said I would not get. And then she got it. Oh! And then she got it. What? No. I see what they did there. Yeah. The Atari 2600, that was, I think, same thing happened with us. We were told we weren't getting it, and we did get it. And we're like, yay! Doug, can you remember anything that we were told that we weren't getting? No. Okay. Uh, no, we're not having a fourth child. No, and then, and then we did. <laughs> <laughs> Ruined everything. That's a present that keeps on giving. Without that, you wouldn't have a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'd make that trade. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And there you go. Uh, Tis the season. Fa la la. Best worst gift you've ever given or receiving. Oh. Receiving? Uh, receiving. Um, <laughs> head? Uh, oh. No. <laughs> giving or receiving. It <laughs> doesn't matter. It's the worst gift he's ever given. <laughs> You're not going to turn that one around. <laughs> oh, I turned it around. <laughs> okay, now I'm even more disgusted. I think last year, our Christmas episode was very sexually influenced, too. I think it's a second episode issue. Somebody's hitting the eggnog too hard. Nick, what's your best gift you ever got? Or worst? Uh, worst was probably all the clothes that just kept the tags on them and went straight to Goodwill. <laughs> uh, best... I don't know. Legos? Yeah, no. Fuck Legos. Legos might be my know. worst. Like a bike or something like that. Okay. Big wheel? Like a big wheel? Like a green machine? I, I think the big wheel I had, I had the Dukes of Hazard. I did wheel. too! They had the tassels. Yeah, the, the suicide break. <laughs> yeah, Jason likes tassels! <laughs> he repurposed those for the NGC game. <laughs> but, uh, Put clamps on them. Uh, probably the Millennium Falcon. Oh, oh, big million. I asked that for Christmas this year. And Star Wars figures. Those are probably the best gifts. Like, My wife. Worst, yeah, worst is probably this crappy Hot Wheels thing that I got one year with a. You had the track and no cars. The track with uh, a <laughs> yeah, track with a like a tornado thing. It, I have no idea what they were thinking. Did it work? Yeah, it did, but I wasn't. That's not what I wanted. Uh, I asked my wife for the new Millennium Falcon that's out this year. It's $120. It was on sale for 80 I don't think I got it. Um, but I asked for it. She never listens. I know! Jeez. <sighs> Jeff, what, what's your best gift? Uh, well, I think we discussed the twenty six hundred. We did. Yeah, no, the, the best gift I ever got was the uh, 101 Dalmatian bed sheet. Oh, that's <laughs> right. That's right. Again, goes back to your lack of sex, sex life. Okay. <laughs> 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 I was 18 at the time. <laughs> <laughs> I was 18. Then you got new ones again at 28. 
every 10 years. <laughs> now he's got Elmo blankets, so it's okay. <laughs> Tickle me. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> uh, Blake, what's your next one? Uh, Green Up from Green Up Podcast. Uh, what's your favorite Christmas tradition? And if you could have any podcaster over for Christmas dinner, who would it be? Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Christmas Favorite dinner. Christmas tradition. Hmm. Let's do that one first. We watch, we watch Charlie Game Brown drop. Christmas every year, so that's oh. that's something I've always done. On it's TV or on DVD? On TV. Okay. So I make sure that week of Thanksgiving when it comes on the day after whatever, we watch that. I particularly enjoy our, our bad gift exchange that we have amongst some of our friends. Oh, yeah. We do enjoy that. Got that coming up next week. Yeah. We watch a Christmas story. That's our tradition there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Jeff? Do you watch it all day on Christmas Day? Like, uh, it's like nine times. Usually watch it on DVD. We uh, get together and watch yeah, it. Our, kind of our family would usually get together on uh, <coughs> Christmas Eve. You know, and so the Christmas Day would be open to go to all the other families and in-laws or whatnot or do absolutely nothing or when you get a job that you work on Christmas, go to work. But so Christmas Eve, we get together, have dinner and open gifts Christmas Eve and, and then watch like Bad Santa, which is the best Christmas movie. Fuck me, Santa. Fuck me, Santa. <laughs> ben, you got anything? Favorite just, Christmas tradition? Distracted by the fucking Santa. <laughs> and he just threw me off there. Uh. <laughs> no, uh, I'd say uh, best Christmas tradition. Uh... I'm not sure. Just waking up Christmas morning. Alive? Where I'm, <laughs> where I'm alive. Wherever, my house, wherever my home is, I like to wake up at home. Aww. Morning. Just, I, like I don't like being up. at I the like family, you know, somebody else's, you know, fucking couch waking up or something like that on Christmas morning. You want to be at your own house and then go, then go out somewhere, go to your family or go do whatever you're going to do, but wake up with your own and then go down, downstairs to the living room and see the tree and, and run downstairs and what the, the fuck... Santa skipped over you again. <laughs> it's because he doesn't like to stay at Kentucky. <laughs> oh. I would like to say on the, if his, I could have any his reindeer keep getting shot. <laughs> if I could have any podcaster over for dinner, it would be. De- well, I don't know, none of you three, probably Nick. <laughs> yes. Wow! Wow! Oh, I know he's a bourbon guy. We, 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 oh, that's true. We'll get yeah. some cigars and we'll sit back and talk about all you fuckers. Oh, well, fine. <laughs> Oh, really? <laughs> at, least we, at least we could bring you enjoyment <laughs> by letting you talk about us. Mine was, uh, one of my favorite things was going to the movies when I was single on Christmas Eve, or Christmas Day night. Yeah, Before. yeah. And, and, and one pathetic loser. <laughs> as the person who worked at the movie theater, I hated those people. I know, I came up and saw you every year. <laughs> hey, Jeff, I, was I saw Mr. Magoo on Christmas Day. It was great. <sighs> <Wow. laughs> Leslie Nielsen. Like, don't you have a home? Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't you have, have family? family? Every, my whole family did it on Christmas Eve when I was single, so it didn't matter. Everything was Christmas Day, we had nothing going on. So it was kind of nice. Uh, who would I have over as a po- what podcast? Probably Chris Hardwick so I could slap him. <laughs> Just slap him. <laughs> Christmas dinner, slap. Was it Slapsgiving? Yes, <laughs> yes. Stop being on all these fucking shows. I, I, I'd take uh, Jonah Ray just because I know he's going to be on the new... Uh, Mystery Science Theater. Mystery Science Theater. And I think Did you see cool. they exceeded their goal? Yeah, they exceeded their goal, and they're yes, going they to have 14 new episodes now. I like it. Was I like it like, it. Wasn't it the uh, most highest funded was it? Kickstarter? Highest funded uh, video, t- TV video thing oh, or whatever. Okay. There, there have been other things that were higher funded. Doug, you excited about Mystery Science Theater? Where are you at? No. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Sure. Okay. It's got Felicia yeah, Day in it now. It's got Felicia. Yeah. yeah it, it beat out Veronica Mars as the number one. I think it would be fun. Video. I like it. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of just pulling Joel or uh, Mike like, aren't in it, but you know. Well, it, I it, can't it, fathom it even getting close to the original. Uh, it, it's it's going to be bad. Oh, uh, I don't think it's going to be bad. So I love but, the original. So, I mean, oh, the originals are great. And, oh, I love, you know, Joel's explanation. It's like, you know, these things change. You know, you, you can't have 200 episodes of me doing it. You know, you need fresh blood and all that. No, you don't. You can have 200 episodes. <laughs> we have 100 episodes of Hobie with us doing it. <laughs> the only time we were, you were out was with furry rabies. Uh, yeah, that's true. So, uh, anyone else on podcaster who they would have over? Anyone? No. Okay, Paul, moving on. Paul, me, me. You want me to come over, Paul? It was a toss-up for there. me between Crazy Homeless Blake or Dan Patrick. 
<laughs> crazy, crazy homeless Blake would be more entertaining. <laughs> Dan Patrick would be boring. <laughs> crazy homeless Blake would bring some alcohol, some good liquor, and a Blake boner. That's right. And a Blake boner. Yeah, that's right. And chocolates. Uh, the movie is, with Johnny Depp. Um, chocolate. Uh, we do have a response on that one, Choco Blake. Choco Leibniz. Little niblets. Yes. Ah, <laughs> so Josh Flagner at Railbird J mm-hmm. says, uh, my favorite Christmas tradition is decorating as little as possible. I'd have Mark Marin for dinner. Okay. I can agree with him on the decorating as little as possible. Okay. He's talking about Mark Marin. He's having him over for dinner or he's eating Mark Marin. I don't think it matters, does it? <laughs> a little from column A, a little from column B. Nom, yeah. nom, nom, nom. Mm. Come over, we'll hang out during the day, then I'll put you in the oven. Roast a little Mark Marin. <laughs> How to serve man. I think there's a little double entendre there Ooh, that uh, Josh wagner has got going on. Mark Marin roasting on we, an open <laughs> We got another Cincinnati podcast next. Nibbling on his toes. <laughs> <laughs> or nipples. Moving on. Uh... Oh, a couple things podcast. A uh, couple things pod. Classic Christmas songs or Christmas song remixes. What do you prefer? Mm. Classics. Classics. Classic. Classics. 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 Christmas in Hollis. It depends <laughs> on Christmas the remix. That's a, that's I mean, classic. if it's like, uh, what's Bieber? your name? If it's Bieber? Yeah, if it's Bieber doing it, no. Hell no. If it's Mariah Carey doing it, no. No. But, All I, mean, I want for Christmas is you. If it's Jason doing it, then no. No. But, I mean, I don't know. Metallica no, like Christmas, would probably, I'd probably enjoy that. Yeah, they sold out. Uh, they did. <laughs> of course they did. Every night. <laughs> <laughs> so, classic. That was easy. Next. All right. Uh, from Devin F. at Real Big Dev. Notice he put Devin F. because <clears throat> Jason can't say foe there. What movies would be in your top five Christmas Fother. movies to marathon? Bad Santa. Bad Santa and Bad Santa. Okay. Christmas Not Vacation. Bad Santa That's your top five? Yes. Yeah. What'd you say, Nick? Christmas Vacation. Gotta be I Christmas agree. Vacation. Christmas Vacation. Elf. Gotta be a Christmas Elf. story. Elf's mine. Gotta be My Elf. son's been addicted to that show this year. Uh, it's good until, the, you know, well, he sings at the end. Yes. Yeah, Scrooge. Scrooge, I thought was, was oh, Scrooge. Yeah. Scrooge is good. Comedic, uh, yeah. Christmas. Bill Murray at his best. Uh, uh, Muppet Christmas Carol starring Michael Caine. My, oh! <laughs> somebody just wanted to watch the one burn. Uh, Michael, uh, that is a good one. I do like Muppet's Car- Christmas Carol. <laughs> it's a little dark, too, at the end with the, de- the ghost the from Michael the future. The ghost feature, yeah. You mean... The Christmas Carol yes. is kind of dark. <laughs> the Muppets just darkened that up. I can't believe that. What about Die Hard? Yes. I actually right. thought of Die Hard. Die it's hard. actually one of my favorites. Yeah, yeah, I'm still. I still can't call that a Christmas movie. Yeah, it but is. it is. Every 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 single one of them has have, has gone on during Christmas. That's no, just the Christmas. first two. But the simple oh, fact yeah, about it, it wasn't even released during Christmas. It was released in the summertime. I was thinking it would be a Christmas tradition when it was released in June. It what is about now? what about reindeer <laughs> games? Oh yeah, yeah. I, I definitely did. no marathon that. <laughs> got Charlize to throw and got naked. I, I think our audience likes Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, we got up there, fish. But okay, good job. Okay, that's a Halloween movie. <laughs> You're not the best audience in the world for nothing. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Nightmare Before Christmas is awful. Oh fuck that what? movie. I hate that movie. Oh, I know I'm in the minority. Sorry, about, uh, you are the minority. The year without world. Santa Claus. Explain yourself. Oh, Heat Miser, Cold Miser. Yeah. We have that come up in Face Off. Heat Miser song. That's awful. Did you read Trading Places? What? Oh, Trading Places. Ah, Mr. I actually rewatched it last night because it was on the pod. I was like, I think I remember this. Watched it and I. Oh, yeah. Watchable. The Heat Miser versus Cold Miser? Awesome. Ah. Well, that song is the only good part, but yeah, but that is. song is classic enough. What what about the uh, how what was the one uh, when they give the Santa Claus origin with Burger Meister Meister Burger? Is that Burger Beer? I don't know what yeah. you're talking about. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, I know which one you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Santa Claus is coming to town. That's Santa Claus Rudolph down. would not be in my top five. You I hate that. I... Burger Meister Meister Burger. No, no, <sighs> yeah. No. Charlie Brown the one that, that, uh, that made toys illegal, so he had to sneak in at night. And... Nope. How did you not see that one? That was the Needless yeah. to say, this is not a classic Christmas movie. No. That's what we're telling you. Yeah. Oh, you people are Die crazy. Die Hard is more of a Christmas movie than that one, Jeff. <laughs> I'll go this Die about Christmas. <laughs> Doesn't it's, matter. It's the, the origins of Christmas. Die Hard is this happened on Christmas hey, Eve. Jeff. That's the only thing that it makes was it a Christmas story, It was the origin story of Christ our Lord Savior? <laughs> it became a motherfucker. But you win. <laughs> Uh, Easter movies, probably Passion of the Christ is my number one. I think Easter movies, that's probably my number one. <laughs> oh, they're doing holidays. Sorry, right, sorry. That, wow. That'll be featured with the movie releases in March 27th. Right? <laughs> that was Groundhog Day. What are you talking about? 
Uh, okay. Uh, I like Groundhog Day's best Easter movie. <laughs> <laughs> would you do Christmas Story as a marathon movie? It would probably be in there. It's okay. one that I... Sure. Yeah. If, if, yeah. 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 Yes. Uh, uh, yes. Pam Morris says, uh, would you, who would you recast in a new a Christmas Story? Oh. I don't know if I could do that. I wouldn't recast it. Really? Couldn't do it. It's couldn't do perfect it. as it is. I think the father you could go with Red from uh, the 70s show. No. That 70s show. No. I'm just giving options. I, I was thinking Christopher Walken there. <laughs> in all the roles I, I, I would go with I like Darren that. McGavin is he a singer? Gavin McTroll? <laughs> Gav no. who is he? he's the, the captain guy. of the love boat Come no on. <laughs> was he the <laughs> professor <laughs> Russell Johnson? <laughs> I'm, I'm confused <laughs> he's the guy who played the dad in a Christmas oh okay <laughs> wow so we would not recast it well Blake and I wouldn't I haven't no. heard from Nick, you guys you? no okay <laughs> Net Paul didn't I? no okay good one <laughs> Thank you. I, th- I think she wanted us to do a draft day on that. Yeah, I guess I didn't get rejected. <laughs> I just have Christopher Walken do all the roles and see. <laughs> oh, Christopher that, Walken do all of that. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That would be you interesting. You know, as many of good impressions I have, I do not have a Christopher Walken. That's a good thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we don't that's need to a good hear thing. that attack. Jason, are you a no. robot doing Christopher Walken? I'm not sure what you're doing right there. Hey, <laughs> as the master impression, I put my pants on the same way as you do every day. The only difference is when I put my pants on, I make gold records. Are you, who are you doing? Like, is that Italian? That's Michael King. <laughs> Michael King. It sounds like you're a Boston thug. It's no, okay. what's it's up? Jason it's Jason doing King. Michael King. Come on. Some people I mean, don't know what to want, but I put my pants on the same way. One to shoe, one to play hands. <laughs> one to shoe and it's not. One to shoe. I don't wear shoes. <laughs> I don't wear shoes. He wears croissants on his feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got croissants. The difference is when I put my pants on and make gold records, how do you like that? Uh-huh. Suck on that, Bedna. Dr. Nazi. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> what you got next? Uh, moving on from Meg Griffin at Wisconsin Knock. My seven-year-old daughter loves watching Supergirl with her dad. Yep. I have yet to see it. Though, so no opinion. Keep it that way. Sounds right. That's that's all she wanted to share with us. No, There's sure no we response talking. from listeners. She's just saying. <laughs> she was just hey, uh, her hard. daughter watches Supergirl and she hasn't seen it yet, and she just wanted us to know. Well, I think it's because we were talking about Supergirl. Oh, so. we were? does your daughter like Supergirl? Yes. Okay, she does. Yes. Okay. Meg, let's keep it that way. Let let your daughter watch it and have fun, and you don't have to suffer through it. Does your son like Supergirl? Or is it too over the top for him? Uh, I don't, uh, yeah, it's okay. beyond his level. It is pretty. Well, it is pretty. Yeah, she might have yeah. 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 I don't know. Does he like oh, Melissa mm-hmm. Benoist? I mean, Ooh. she is... Okay. Never mind. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Which is so much better if you were closer. Is, is, is she a blonde who was formerly a brunette? That's what he goes for. Oh. Oh. She is, oh. Yeah, I think she might be. She has crazy eyes. <laughs> Moving on. Let's go. <laughs> if uh, Randall Hold it, RJ Hold 666. He's not evil. Just handled that way. He said, if uh, naughty kids get coal from Santa, why do we never see any in his sleigh in all the movies? Who delivers that? Hashtag lies. I think it's because it's not really cool, but it's droppings from the reindeer. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. I was thinking yeah. it's treated as contraband, so he keeps it either in the ashtray or under the seat. Or in his ass. <laughs> yeah, freeze-dried he, reindeer poop. He keeps it under the fender. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's a good call. I think it could be contraband. Anyone else? Actually, yeah. we see it. It's just wrapped up in brightly colored packages. Oh. You open your package, and there's coal in it. Sounds like you're wasting money on packaging. Yeah, but it's so good to, to piss off those children who think they're getting something and they're getting coal. Jeff. Now, granted, coal is probably worth more than the toys that other kids are getting. State law says you're not allowed around 150 yards of a kid, so I don't think you're giving coal to anybody. This well, year. I'm not Santa Claus. <laughs> I'm Santa Claus. Uh, Target sells coal now for uh, Christmas. Is it the licorice flavored stuff? No, it's like it's made of something, but it's not candy it's or anything. Made of something. Oh. So it's not real coal. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think they would have the coal, and it was just kind of a licorice thing. And... My wife said I was not allowed buying that for my son and putting that as his only present, and then giving bringing out the other presents. She's like, he's too young for that joke. I was like, it's funny. Nothing <laughs> 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 like you know hampering his life. <laughs> Good, Blake. What's next? And uh, Randall Holt wants to know boxes or briefs. The world wants to know, or just him. That he's, man. he's the world. Right. The world. The world. Uh, free balling. Yeah, oh. Commando. Yep. Wow. Free ball, Commando, number yep. one fan. Doug? Handcuff. 
Okay, okay. Dittman. <laughs> <laughs> it's situationally dependent. <laughs> on free bowling or not to free ball? <laughs> Jeff. Boxer briefs. Nick. Boxers. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Real men for free ball. Real men wear <laughs> banana slings. All right. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just a jock strap. Just, just, can I interrupt for a minute here? Yeah. I, I, I'm going to say this when Meg Griffin is yeah. at her post. I, I had free HBO think about me. for whatever, so I was taping stuff. Somehow I got Fifty Shades of Grey tape. Oh, how is that? I, I haven't watched it. I, but should I read the book first <laughs> and then watch the movie? Does it make a difference? I know she's a big fan. She is a big fan of Fifty I'm Shades of Grey. Um... I is don't it know. different? I mean... I don't know. You may be lost without reading the book. I, I could be. That could be a tough one. Meg, can you answer that for us? Thanks. Merry Christmas to We're you. We're going to get nasty uh, <laughs> tweets on that one. Number one fan of Fifty Shades of Grey? Meg. Moving on. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of number one, it's oh. Doctor Number One, Doctor Number One. Top five movie-based video games. Are there five? Doom with The Rock. I'm sorry. Top five movie-based vid- Well, we know you were always a big fan Duck of... Uh, Blood Rain. GoldenEye. Alone in the Dark. Uh, Wreck-It Ralph. Go on, uh, Super Mario Brothers. Uh, oh, you, I'm sorry. I was thinking of game movies based on video yeah, games. It's the opposite. Movie first. Sorry, GoldenEye. GoldenEye. GoldenEye was fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking movies based on video games. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was movies based on video games. Oh, like movie talking, based video games. Like they're coming out. <laughs> oh! The Assassin's the Creed. Oh, the Assassin's Creed. Uh... E.T. Raiders e. of the Lost Ark. Yeah. Raiders of the Lost Ark was annoying on the Atari 2600. I never I knew what to do. Oh, that was annoying. No, Ninja Turtles good. didn't they come out one? Oh, oh fuck yeah. that. That game was awful. That. The first one was terrible. Yeah, first one the was terrible. Game. The arcade one was good. I'll give you that. Turtles in Time was fun. It's the same as the arcade game. It was just in time. Yeah, different Burger in time. Chef. Cowabunga. <laughs> I don't Burger think Tonto. Yeah, based, based on, on the movie. movie. Based on Burger Chef. Yeah. <laughs> based on Burger Chef. So we have, uh, yeah, so we have uh, GoldenEye. GoldenEye. There's not five. There's not five. <laughs> <laughs> um, the question is, are there five? Are there five? No. <laughs> Move on. <laughs> yes, so the answer is no. Okay. <laughs> we Go ahead, Mike. Like, time on no. All right, so uh, Dr. Number One says, so can we bring Coulson back to life, but we can't get him a prosthetic hand that works? I agree. I thought it did work. It crushed his chest At pretty well. end, but up until I was like, oh, we got another one. <laughs> that was dumb. I didn't well, like he, it. He but he, he could have had his pie because of his hand not working. Yeah. Uh, he, I don't so think he could move, but it's just... You know, I don't think he was able to tie a tie to begin it's with. It's a work in progress. So that's good it's work. what clip-ons are for. <laughs> You I thought just, you said strap ons? You just keep it tied, keep it in your locker, and when you get to school, you put it on and tighten it up. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm the only one that was required to wear ties at school. <laughs> wow. Okay, uh, we did get a uh, couple on the website. Philip Willing- Willingham says With the new Star Wars release looming, what Star Wars Christmas ornament should I buy my wife? Ooh. Kylo Ren. Oh, we gotta go Kylo Ren. Tie fighters, tie fighters hang pretty well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. they do. The ships always look good on yeah. the Christmas. Tree. They do. Uh, the Millennium Falcon has one that makes sounds. I like that one. So, anyone else? Can you give us a sample of the sound? <laughs> Light speed. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's all I had. Those are examples. <laughs> Would you like to be more just to name a few? Just to name a few. Uh, anyone else? Sold separately. Oh, Nikki. Jawas. If you can find a Jawa ornament, go for that. Could, is it? Do they make that? Matter, matter of fact, get multiples so you just have one section of your tree just covered in Jawas. <laughs> and Ewoks on the other side. No, no. Ewoks would be terrible. Uh, they have nothing to do with trees. Nikki, number one fan from New Zealand. Uh, if you could have Pez Dispenser of any character, what would it be? <laughs> Let's see on the table here. We've got a Superman, a yeah. Batman, C3PO, a Darth, and a Chewbacca. It's a tough one. So, any character anywhere. Remy Lacroix. The Pez comes out. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, that just ruined everything. <laughs> Moving on. I would say I'd like a Jesus Christ Pez dispenser. Wow. Why? I don't know. It's, it, it would never run out. <laughs> it would, stop it. Ben Dr. Doctor Nazi over here just said I want Nicole Simpson one. Stop it. Well, the head flap's much easier that way. 
I'm sorry. That came out of nowhere. I don't even know. No, no. You're very tolerant. <laughs> uh, you might want to explain to the younger listeners who that is. No. The goal is Simpson. No, 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 don't do it. I, no. I challenge you to yes. Google it. You're, you're, uh, I the Cole Simpson Pez Dispenser. Google it. I'm going Remy LaCroix. That's who I want. Bender or Blake? Anybody dip me? I got nothing. Nothing? Okay. Jeff, who'd you go with? Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ, super sorry. Okay. I can't say that. Nick, do you have any? I just did. <laughs> no. Okay. Best cover man in business for nothing. Uh, Doug, number one fan, says, where's Jeff? I'm oh, right here. There he is. Okay. Uh-huh. That was another one written on it. <laughs> That's because Jeff was a little late. Or by late. Two by minutes, <laughs> two minutes <laughs> late. <laughs> uh, there is your listener feedback. We have a riddle me this. From Randall, or from the Pop Culture Cafe at TPC yes. Cafe. Uh, hey guys, try recasting Reservoir Dogs with Care Bears. With Care Bears. Jeff, I'm going to go to you on this one because you know Care Bears a lot. I, 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 I've got my list here. And uh, I, I only recast like the six uh, bank robbers. Okay. Uh, with the, the color names or whatnot. So I got blonde, pink, orange, white, blue, and brown. Okay. I recast them. Um, for. Uh, Blonde, I picked Grumpy Bear. Okay. Mr. Blonde, he's like the, the, the guy who cuts the, the ear yeah, off or whatever. And he he's just grumpy. he seems grumpy and gruff, so I'm he's like, grumpy. okay, that, that'll work. Uh, Mr. Pink, I picked Baby Hugs Bear. Of course, because he's uh, gay. <laughs> 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 why am I pink? <laughs> <You're> fucking excited. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd that come from? <laughs> Jesus. You're just quoting the movie. You're just quoting the movie. If anybody has any complaints, send that to Blake at Graphic Novice. No, but I didn't even say it. What are you talking about? You if we need to edit work. that, we need to stop now because I'm not going back. <laughs> Two weeks later. <laughs> eh, this is why you're a Nazi. Moving on. Uh, or, uh, Mr. Orange, I cast as Bedtime Bear. Because Anything to say about that? Really? <laughs> <laughs> for, for most of the movie, Mr. Orange is passed out on the floor, so I figure Bedtime Bear would be perfect for yeah. that. Your uh, spirit animal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. White, I picked Braveheart Lion from the Care Bear Cousins. Oh, yeah, I, did, I remember him. Because he cousins? seems, yeah, he's kind of like the leader, and, and but caring. The so. cousins had the penguin, the rabbit, the lion. Anything else? Oh, other things. The monkey. I don't elephant. Oh, yeah, the yeah, monkey. Yeah, strong heart elephant. Yeah. <laughs> I really don't know why you were single for so long. <laughs> I think still single. Is <laughs> and uh, Mr. Blue, I picked Share Bear just because of the line where Mr. Blue says "dick, dick, 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 dick." So it sounds like dick, he's dick. sharing a lot of dick. <laughs> That's right. And for Mr. Brown, I picked Secret Bear because really no one knows anything about Mr. Brown. Oh wait, I got blue and brown mixed up. Uh, oh, geez. Brown was the one that said dick, 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 dick. He should be Share Bear. Yeah, that's Tarantino's world. Yes. yes. Blue, Blue is Secret Bear because he had like two lines and then they killed him. Yeah. He killed the bear? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's, a car, that's a Care Bear movie I want to watch. All right. So anybody want to agree, no, disagree, or add? Uh, that entirely no. and thorough. No. no. Thorough. Well done. Yes. All right. So there you go, uh, TPC Cafe. Uh, I think it's time for draft day. What do we want? Draft day! Draft day, draft day, I want a draft day. Hubby, 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 hubby. Draft day, draft day, we need a draft day. Hubby, hubby, history got ideas, yeah! Draft day! Drafting this week, and thank you, Henna, for that great draft day song. Love it. Uh, let's see. Uh, number uh, four. Number I don't even know what we're doing. Uh, draft day this week is draft a Charlie Brown Christmas. We're doing Charlie Brown, Lucy, grief. Linus, <laughs> Sally, and Peppermint Patty. Was Peppermint Patty Pepper- even eating yeah, it? I don't think she was. Why was all the extras Charlie that you Brown chose Christmas. that in there? That was from the Dip Man. Why would you even listen to me? I don't know. Well, Peppermint Patty wasn't even in Charlie Brown Christmas. Peppermint Patty over Snoopy? Okay, we're down to four. We're down to four. No, Snoopy is a dog. We're not picking some. Why? Why? How do we not we pick Snoopy? Snoopy is an integral part of that show. Are you kidding me? Okay, we're picking Snoopy. I'll just, uh, I'll just pick who I picked for Pe- Snoopy. <laughs> <laughs> just whoever you had for Peppermint Patty draft is Snoopy. <laughs> okay. Okay, you know what? I'll do that. That's a good deal. Okay. Okay. We've already drafted the Peanuts. Well, it was the Christmas one. Oh, sure. I was asked to do it. Uh, anyways. Do uh, everything they Do everything they ask. And then some. Uh, anyways. I mean, uh, it is. Nick, 
Nick, okay. the uh, number one fan, or I'm sorry, I don't even know. Nick, the color man, he <laughs> left, <laughs> and now we got uh, an audience member, Fish, is in the studio. Say hello, Fish. Hello. There you go. We'll put a little, little boom in your voice there, Chief. A little louder. I, I feel like Ken Griffey Sr. I'm at the podcast table with with Junior. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it means you got to. Did you ever think it would be this disappointing? <laughs> wow, that's weird. <laughs> well, I know Ouch. we're not going to hit back-to-back home runs together, yeah. that's for sure. I have set a Guinness World Record, actually, today. we have to look into that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Most First father-son podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Most multi-generational podcast. We don't know yet. So for that, draft day, you draft uh, these characters, redraft them. Can't be picked. They can't be picked twice. So... Number uh, for audience member uh, Fish, you can go first. Who would you like to go? Would you like to go someplace else? So want someone else to go first? Come on, be a man. Well, who are we go. starting with? Charlie Brown. Anybody you want. Anybody Anybody you want. want. The, one, the one you feel like is your solid best pick. Put some booming in there. You don't want someone else um, to steal out from under you. First you. round draft pick. You don't want right. to brown this up. Uh, okay, so for Sally, we're going to go Scarlett Johansson. Ooh. Yeah. Why? We're going sexy, Sally. Because Dad said so. Okay. <laughs> 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 uh, Blake, who do you got? I don't have anybody. Okay, good call. Okay, uh, <laughs> Jeff, your number, your uh, draft. Uh, I'll just start with Charlie Brown. Yeah, and I'm gonna go with Wilton Fisk, the Kingpin. Ooh, he's got the big bald head. Baldest head. Yeah. Uh, Dead man, who do you got? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pick my Linus. I got Steve Buscemi. That's my <laughs> Linus. Not anymore, it is it? You mother. <laughs> That's wow. not I, I don't read anything on there. <laughs> Wow. Suck it, Trebek. Okay. <laughs> Suck it. Uh, Doug, who do you got? Okay, I had a fun. Charlie Brown's a bit of a sad sack. Yes. So I went with Jason. Wow. Oh. Jason Voorhees? Jason Brigger. Oh! oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Jason Brigger. Okay, okay. That's true. That's where I'm going with that. Okay. Fantastic. I have a theme on mine. Okay. I wonder what that will be. <laughs> Spendar, what would you like to pick? I want to take my Lucy. Mm hmm. We go with Cersei Lannister. Oh, from uh, Game, of, Game Thrones? of Thrones. Oh, yeah. good pick, good pick. That was my that was uh, an honorable mention. It can be the nicest thing in the world, and then pull that football away from you. Fucking football right out from under your feet. I'm going. Uh, Andy my... gives advice for five sets. Yeah, or less. I'm going my Charlie Brown. I'm going the whole Cleveland Browns team, just the whole team. That's that's my Brown. That's my Charlie Brown. That's my Charlie Brown. The entire Cleveland Browns franchise. I got that. Hey, I'm glad somebody else thought of that. I thought I was going to just save that one for later. But I don't know if it'd be the Cleveland Browns franchise. Maybe it'd be the Cleveland Browns fans. No, the franchise. Oh, the franchise. Okay, got it. Hey. Uh, okay, so Rex, what's your second round pick? Uh, we'll Come go on, with fish. Charlie Brown. Uh, we're going to take Chris Pratt. Ooh. What? I don't think he fits. Are well, you trying to do all Avengers? Oh, I think so. Probably. But Chris Pratt's not an Avenger. He's he a guardian. Be. Sorry. But he can uh, also rap Eminem. That's true. Do you see that? No, yeah. Chris Pratt can do anything he wants. <laughs> yeah. So I suppose I can't say it's a bad pick because he's good in any role. Okay. Jeff, what's your second round? Uh, next, I think maybe I'll just go with Snoopy. And I'm going to take uh, Flash, the uh, dog from... Uh, Dukes of Hazard. Uh, okay. Roscoe's dog from Dukes of Hazard. Okay. Does his dog say that? No, that's what oh, okay. says. <laughs> he just wanted to do that. I Dead just... man. <laughs> Second round. Second round. We'll go with uh, Lucy, and I'm going to take uh, Sandra Bullock. Okay. Because <laughs> she can be bitchy. Yeah, because I pictured her that, what was it, the blind side, that bitchy. Okay. <laughs> uh, Doug? Nope. I'm going with Linus. You know, kind of the smart guy of the mm-hmm. group. I'm going to go with Jeff now. Woohoo, smart guy. Better than sand sack. <laughs> His security blanket. <laughs> Can't accept reality. <laughs> okay, I like that. Well, the uh, security blanket is a 101 Dalmatians blanket. <laughs> That's true. Uh, Bendar? I'll go with my Linus as uh, Kermit the Frog. Insightful, smart, yet insecure. Ooh, uh, Kermit the Frog. Well planned. I'm going uh, my Linus. Uh, since, you know, Jackass down there took Steve Buscemi, I'm going the poor man Steve Buscemi, David Spade. It's <laughs> a, a really poor man. You, you could have gotten him in the last round. Jay. <laughs> he could have been Mr. Irrelevant. Poor man or poor choice. <laughs> so says the man that won't participate. Uh, go ahead, uh, I didn't do my homework. Round three. All right. Um, I'm going to take, well, I guess now it's Snoopy, and go with Ronda Rousey for Snoopy. <laughs> 
Love it. You said make it an action movie. <laughs> okay, okay. I like it. Yeah. yeah. So you know it's going to be an action movie. Pepper I mean, and Patty became. It's going to be <laughs> Snoopy. It's going to be. I can see Ronda Rousey pulling that off. <laughs> Playing Snoopy. And, gonna... and yeah, hell, she's even rumored to possibly be uh, Ms. Marvel. Ms. Marvel. So. Yeah. That even stays with. Fish, that was not a bad pick. Good pick. <laughs> uh, Jeff, what's your third round? Um, I think I'll go with my Sally. Okay. Uh, kind of in, close to the same vein as Chris's last pick there. I'm going uh, Muppet Babies, Miss Piggy. Oh. Piggy from the Muppet Babies. Okay. Not okay. to be confused with Muppet Babies, Miss Piggy. Right. <laughs> same thing. <laughs> no, That's what I'm picking. Not to be confused because it's the same thing. <laughs> uh, Paul. Uh, I'm going to go with my Snoopy. Uh, it was kind of a toss up here, but I'm, I'm going to go with James Spader. Okay. Yeah, very serious team down there. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say that. It's going to be a stuff. very dark. Do you have the Boston legal team down there at the TV show? Maybe. <laughs> uh, Doug, what's your Sweet. next? Okay, I'll, I'll go with Snoopy. <laughs> Now he's he's a bit out there and he's in the military, so I'm picking Blake. <laughs> <laughs> military. <laughs> and he flies around dance. shooting things. <laughs> ben, what's your next round? Next I'll week. take my Snoopy as Charlie Chaplin. Ooh, oh, that's actually I a good like one. That. Silent movie. Snoopy never says yeah. anything. He's yeah, a dog. very talented. Yeah, he still entertains you by watching. Entertaining him. beyond all. Mm, I like movies. that pick. Uh, my third. Uh, let's see. I'm going Lucy. Sandra Bernhardt. I'm going Sandra Bernhardt. Oh, yeah. I, no, I, well, <laughs> exactly. I, it, it should be, but it's like it's a good pick for Lucy. I just pick Roseanne. Oh. Yeah, I was going to say Roseanne, <laughs> Bar- Roseanne, Roseanne O'Donnell. Rosie O'Donnell. Oh. Uh, round four. Go, go ahead, Fish. Uh, for Linus, we're going to take Matt Damon. My Matt Damon. Damon. Matt Damon. Matt Damon. I could actually see him as Linus. I can't. Yeah, that's the sad part. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, Jeff. Uh, for my Lucy, I'm gonna go Ellen DeGeneres. <clears throat> oh, okay. I have no reason other than that's who came to mind. Okay. We'll Dip man. My Charlie Brown because I know how much Jason loves The Big Bang Theory. Uh, Leonard Hofstetter. <sighs> <laughs> Doug, what do you got? Okay, uh, I'm going off the board here. Oh. Sally, I'm cutting from my movie, <laughs> and I'm putting in Woodstock. Good idea. So, so... A Woodsy. Woodstock. He's the sidekick mm-hmm. to Snoopy. Who's the si- hot sidekick to Blake? Dit Man in the Morning. Oh! <laughs> yeah. 97.9, the Dit Man. Are we a rock station this week, Jason? Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> Dit Man. Hey, it was country last time you were on, but... The I thought it was going oldies for a few weeks. Uh, better, what do you got? <laughs> uh, I guess I'll do Sally. <laughs> I guess I'll do Sally. <laughs> Uh, Sounds sexual. Oh, no. Amy Poehler. Amy Poehler? <laughs> oh, really? The easy one? <laughs> uh-huh. Nick, the gimp is already like, in the I box. Like, I like you want the idea to just remove Sally entirely. <laughs> Who would put it? <laughs> oh, but Sally only wants what's coming to her. No. I put oh. Schroeder in there. So I may pick her as Remy LaCroix. <laughs> 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 All right, my Sally is Remy LaCroix. Uh, that's my pick. <laughs> So you want, want what's coming to her. It ain't Schroeder. Wow. It's croissant with some frosting. Okay, moving so Chris, on. Chris, if you want to replace her with Schroeder, who would you pick for Schroeder? Um, Yourself? Yeah. Yeah. Josh yeah. Groban. Hanno, like Hanno, he's a good musician. Oh yeah, that guy. <laughs> There's a little jealousy oh, from. Right. That's where you drop the piano on him, right? Ah, <laughs> Benar, Benar has a little anger for Hanno. I think he's just think jealous he that 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 Hanno ha- has the Blake boner. That's right. That's true. Yeah. true. Y'all need an intro off. Yeah. <laughs> intros. And... Intro yeah. off. Yeah. Uh, go ahead, Fish. What's your last pick? All right. Well, since I have an action movie, I'm gonna go Father Like Son and cut Lucy. <laughs> and bring in Woodstock because Ronda Rousey needs a sidekick, so she's gonna get Holly Holm. Oh, Ooh. I would say you could flip those two now. <laughs> yeah, he's get sidekicked. Sidekicked. You know Good. they are gonna do a, a rematch in July. Really? Yes. Yes, it's been already been mandated. That's her jaw heels <laughs> and her pride. Uh, Go ahead, Jeff. What's your last pick? Uh, for my Linus, I'm gonna pick somebody who just. You know, can, is the person who can tell you what it's all about, mm-hmm. and that's Obi Wan Kenobi. <laughs> I like that. He wears a robe like a blanket. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> good one. And I, I could just see, uh, you know, an Alec Guinness standing out there just explaining you the story of Christmas. Yeah. 
Uh, dead man? I'm cutting Sally. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sally? Hey, they're not making the cut. <laughs> We're voting in Pigpen, and it's going to be Denzel Washington. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, if there was ever a role for Steve Buscemi, it's big. <laughs> wow. Okay, Doug, what's your last pick? Okay, see, I was going to cut Lucy, bring in Franklin. The token minority Franklin. doesn't really do anything. And go with Barack Obama. <laughs> but, but, yeah, but everybody loves him. Yeah, that's right. That's <laughs> but, but downstairs, down the hall, <laughs> past the cheerleading, that's too far. You go back. Funny you should mention that. But that wouldn't fit into my, my, okay. my, my theme. So I went back to Lucy, loudmouth woman. How many are there? Oh, I, that's a lot to pick from. Oh, God. But I'm keeping it in the podcast family. I'm going with Amy. <laughs> Wow. No offense, but I, I couldn't remember. It's already send, taken. Send, send all complaints to number one fan Doug at Graphic Novice. I, cu- I couldn't remember the name of Blake's wife, and she had been on the show. Oh! <laughs> that was the only other one I could think of. That's right. He couldn't remember her birthday, so you got to think of her. At least that's what Jason told me to say. No. Oh, I did him all. Oh, now he's blaming it on Jason. Cold at the time. Uh, last pick for you, Bednar. <laughs> oh, I have another pick still? Yeah. <laughs> You've got to vote somebody off your island. Who's them. your Charlie Brown? I took the Browns. Bill Hader, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he actually would fit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's actually good pick. <laughs> Him or pass, either one. Either one. <laughs> uh, my last pick is Snoopy. I'm going with Bolt, the cartoon dog. I think he fits that. His voice by John Why does everybody got to pick a dog? Maybe Snoopy doesn't have to be a dog. Well, he is in my world. Look at my world, bitch. Okay, uh, <laughs> there's your uh, Charlie Brown Christmas. Yes, yes. yes. I, I have no clue who won. Uh, face off time. No. Oh, oh, oh. Denzel Washington. Face off. <laughs> face off, face off. Would you like to sing a face off song? Face off, face off. We have a face off. <laughs> I think he's bitter. <laughs> Somebody's <laughs> jealous. Hanno, you made him jealous. No, I was thinking that legitimately. Uh, <laughs> did that not sound like what he did? It was off. <laughs> I mean, I, saw, I thought it was right now. Hanno, he lives in Kentucky, so we do not associate. Try to, but, you know. They did pa- stamp his passport on the way over. <laughs> his shoes were left at the bridge. He is proud of his Kim Davis that lives there. Anyways, moving on. Uh, let's see. Face off from me. Heat Miser versus Cold Miser. Who wins? Heat Miser. Cold Miser. Heat Miser. Always Heat, Miser. Heat Miser's got a better song. Neither. <laughs> Jeff? Uh, Heat Miser would win. Why? Well, because one, it's Snow Miser in the. Oh. Show. <laughs> and two, the fire would melt all the ice. Unless he freezes, it's super cold. Until it melts because the fire melts. Okay, it. well, you might have a point. What if he's dabbing water? Heart puts with ice fire water. can't exist at that cold temperature. Can you shake him with an ice? I don't think he can go absolute zero. He's just not that good of a miser. In the song, he claims he can. Can he say absolute zero? I think so. Then. I I know, know, not. <laughs> if, Arnold, if Arnold Schwarzenegger taught me anything about cold, uh, I think. <laughs> I, I, I think say. Interrupt this program. <laughs> you need to chill out. <laughs> uh, from Randall Holt, Santa Claus versus the Hog Father. What? What the hell is the what Hog the Father? The hog Father. That's a Pratchett thing, isn't it? It is. It it's uh, from the Discworld of the Terry Pratchett novels. The Terry Pratchett novels. He's kind of the Santa Claus version of okay. the Discworld. It's it's uh it's Santa Claus at Hogwarts. Um, as much as I like Discworld and everything, I'd still go with Santa Claus. Okay. Because a I saw Santa Claus fight Jesus on the uh, South, South Park. Park uh, good call. Uh, and uh, b, uh, Hogfather is just based off of Santa Claus. Okay. It's good. Good, good thing. And I think that's it. News of the geek time. It's time for another installment of the News of the Geek. Uh, good first, times. First off, News of the Geek, uh, we got a present from the Dip Man. And, Top news uh, story of the week. The Dip Man. Yeah, it's a Christmas present. Well wrapped. Very well wrapped. Did you do this or your good wife? Job, uh, personal wrapping specialist myself. Oh, I'm going to hire you to wrap my presents. It's got little peppermint looking swirls yeah. on it. I, I like Beautiful. to There's object to this. I'm number one fan because I bring gifts every time. He's taking my shtick. 
That is true. I, I take offense to this. Nobody wants half the gifts you bring. That's why I'm dumping them here. Let's see here. Number Something one. to improve the studio. Why do I have a... Oh! Oh! oh. It's a dildo! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Star Wars dildo. <laughs> it is an M&M machine with... A stormtrooper at the top. A Santa Claus stormtrooper. No, that's just a stormtrooper. Uh, no, it's an Eminem stormtrooper. Oh, it's an Eminem stormtrooper. Oh, it looked like Santa Claus to me. Well, thank you, Paul. Oh, <laughs> man, thank you. That is very, very nice. Oh, wait, they didn't, they didn't the call M&M? it a touchdown. Where's the M&M's? Where's the M&M's? <laughs> Blake is so excited, they called, the back, it's in there. they called back James Starts' touchdown because oh. he has Eddie Lacy on his head. I don't know if it's in there or not. It's the... No, no, he's there now. Oh, and there's now. Play action. Oh, there's a Steve! Oh, he's in! Uh, sorry for the listeners. We're watching the Green Bay uh, Dallas game, and Blake is having a heart attack because this guy is not scoring. They're going to take him out now. Did you start Eddie Lacy? I ate a turkey last night? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen Eddie Lacy? Yes. <laughs> He ate the whole turkey. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you, Dip Man. We got a new thing for the studio. We got Pez and M&M's. And, uh, well, M&M M&M I, peanuts come out of there? Allegedly. Awesome. Do you really? have to put money in to get it? Well, M&M's awesome. Yes. Come yes. Well, M&M's awesome. Awesome. Come, <laughs> come out. Uh, I didn't well, read the directions. Clone Trooper. It's the Clone Trooper one. It's the yeah. Clone Trooper M&M machine. Clone Trooper M&M. That's Jesus awesome. Thank you. <laughs> so it's a mini Django Fett. There's also Darth Vader oh. and Luke. Oh, there is. Yeah, we saw my Kroger. So it's one of the M&M's in a clone trooper Luke Skywalker was outfit. a Kroger. Cool. Yes, <laughs> yes, Luke Skywalker was a Kroger. <laughs> well, he's not in the movie, apparently, so he might have been a Kroger. Well, thank you. That was very nice. Meanwhile, at Kroger, here's Luke Skywalker. And just because, just because Nick the Gimp left, I'm going to say this is a better gift than a package of Pez. You know what? If Nick was here, he would win. Anyways, but we want this. You say that while Chris is sitting next Chris to you, and he brought in the Pez today. I brought you, like, 50 Pez. Oh, yeah. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't he tweet us about it? Next time I'll tweet him. Hey, it's not like you it's wrote us a, that works. It's not like you wrote us a theme song or anything, Chris. Right, right. <laughs> Which was outdone by draft day. Moving on. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dark Alley, Hanno, you and me. <laughs> guitar off. Uh, the Hollywood Reporter is reporting the Kingsman Secret Service star and Star Trek Beyond actress Sophia Butala is currently in talks to star at, as the monster in Universal's The Mummy. Is Con- she a mummy? Yes. <laughs> confirming the... Ru- She's the mummy? She's a mummy. Confirm, confu- confirming rumors that the new reboot... Reboot? Reboot? <laughs> reboot. <laughs> it's reboot. a new reboot. What's that all, reboot? What's well, contain a female villain. Uh, What's let's the see. Canadian form of it? Who is oh. Sophia Butella? Uh, she the was the Kingsman. Uh, she was the bad guy with the legs, the blade oh, legs. Oh, she was the blade legs. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, uh, unlike the last trilogy, this so she's like Oscar Pistorius. <laughs> yeah. Without the murder, <laughs> without the murder conviction. Right. Yeah, we don't have to say allegedly on that. <laughs> Nobody said allegedly. Right? This one will take place in the modern day, with Tom Cruise expected to headline. Uh, Alex Kurtzman oh, from People Like oh, Us is directing. Far as Tom Cruise fallen. <laughs> the Mummy is expected to kick off Universal's planned monster movie universe, which was supposed to be kicked off with Dracula Untold. And then Frankenstein. Oh. And then, oh, they keep trying to kick it off. Just not working. Uh, so, yeah. Universal is seeking the highest level of talent to feature in their modern reimagining of classic monster tales. According, uh, in addition, Tom Cruise, Angelina Jolie, is reportedly being courted for their Bride of Frankenstein reboot. So She's going to play Frankenstein. Yes. Yes. Uh, let's see. Box of play Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Does anyone? Frankenstein. Like, I love the Universal Monster movies, but I don't care. Like, I really don't care. Yeah, see, I don't even love the Universal Monster movies, so that's how little I care. It's... Well, we're just going to keep having a expanded universe. It doesn't so work. Forced. Yes. Yes. Uh, let's see. Box office bombs of the year. Uh, Gem and the Holograms made a total of one point. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> made two point eight one million. I thought you say two point eight dollars. Yes. <laughs> no, seriously, it made two point eight. That's it. Yes. Yeah, yes. under three million dollars. Oh like, my God! Week. This podcast makes more than that, right? <laughs> <laughs> I wish. In IOUs. In IOUs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Still it's just good. It, it, it costs five million to make. Uh, Victor Frankenstein. Uh, made three point four four million. <laughs> oh, that's up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How much uh, did that cost to make? Uh, it didn't say. We're still finding that out. Uh, Doug, look up that. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, per theater average on opening weekend, seven hundred and eleven dollars. <laughs> yeah, that's 
It made one point. Tickets? It made two million in twenty seven hundred theaters. <laughs> uh, Rock the cash Bosch with uh, Bill Murray. Lock the cash box. Lock the cash box. Lock the cash box. Rock. The cash box. <laughs> Rock. It's Rock. A financial film spinoff from. Has only made three million. Uh, let's see. Uh, we are your friend with uh, what's that guy? The, James Franco. Yeah. Here's the description. The James coming Franco or James Dave's Franco? brother. Yeah, Dave Dave's brother. older brother. The, the coming of age drama <laughs> about a bunch of Southern California bros trying to make it in the world of Bro. EDM opened over the sleepy final weekend in August. What's EDM? I have no idea. Bro. Erectile dysfunction mostly. <laughs> <laughs> There's a subculture for it. Mostly. 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 Most uh, it's made three point five nine million. All the time. <laughs> and uh, the thirty million dollar brand, our brand is Crisis with Sandra Bullock, has only made seven million. Still direction for longer than so, thirty seconds. Um, <laughs> Victor Frankenstein. Then I want to contact your doctor. Forty million dollar budget. Oh, oh, I think that wins. Yeah, loses. American dollars. Yeah, American. The Canadian is better. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Official launch date set for January 7th for NBC's new ad-free subscription c- uh, streaming service. NBC's doing one yeah. now? Say so. Say so? How do you say that? CISO? I'd say CISO, but okay. I don't know. NBC. Uh, this is NBC, the first I'm hearing about it. Channel for M- NBC Universal Digital Enterprises will be available on CISO.com, iOS, and Android platforms. Beginning on that date for $3.99 per month. It's basically a comedy channel. Uh, they're including. Uh, they have their own original shows. I uh, won't go through them all. But no, I read the synopsis of the five or six they had. It was yeah. terrible. Before the morning, after a late night comedy show Before featuring the, the world's best comedians getting drunk in a diner at two a.m. The hosts good. include Greg Proops. So I always like Greg Proops. He's one of the hosts. Uh, Matt Besser has his own uh, comedy special. I have no idea what that is. Who he is? Uh, I think he's from Upright uh, Citizens Brigade. I think that's what it is. Oh, that could be. But here's, uh, the, here's the thing. It, it sounds interesting. But would you watch it every week for four dollars? No, I want to pay four dollars a month for this. Right. right. I, 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 it could take us only three ninety nine. Oh my bad. <laughs> it's valuable at three ninety nine. <laughs> extra penny. I, I did think this one was funny. Sammy J and Randy in Ricketts Lane. It's a musical comedy about two mismatched housemates from the acclaimed comedic duo, duo Sammy J and Randy. Sammy J is a human, and Randy is a purple puppet. So I guess, right. yeah. Okay. Right. So for four dollars, this can be yours. Pop, <laughs> I'm intrigued by the one titled "The Cyanide and Happiness Show." It's uh, comedy fans get exclusive access to the hottest up-and-coming stand-up comedians in an intimate former speakeasy. This isn't open to the public, and the only way to get in the door is get on the guest list. Ooh, get, let's get Hobie on the guest list. Do we care? <laughs> if we can get on an exclusive guest list, we care. Okay, we will. Okay, fine. <laughs> I'll vote for you. But for three ninety nine. <laughs> I'll pay the three ninety nine. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, you can the, write it off. Does again? The cat talks about last episode. We were talking about you know everything's going to a streaming service. Does anyone care? This isn't one I. I don't know what. Yeah. This cannot last, right? I mean, on regular NBC, the only thing I watch is Sunday Night Football. Oh, that's true. <laughs> so you got the Patriots and the Denver every week, so that's nice. <laughs> and in the summer, it's what. Boston Red Sox, New York Yankees, or is that ESPN? That's ESPN. That's ESPN. That's ESPN. That's ESPN. So yeah, they're... It's a Red Sox Yankees channel. NBC has Heroes. Number 206 on direct. Oh, yeah. Watch Heroes Reborn. Reborn. Like I said, the only thing I watch on <laughs> <laughs> uh, They got that Animal Hospital cart show on, right? Oh, that, that was canceled two years ago? <laughs> <laughs> After three episodes. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think what I do watch on... NBC. Heroes. Sunday Night Football. Yeah. Sunday, Sunday Night, Night Football. Football. I don't think I even watch Sunday Night Football all that much. Oh, they have Dateline. Dateline Murder Mysteries. <laughs> <laughs> so you watch nothing on NBC is what you just said. Uh, some quickies. This is a good one for Blake. Wayward Pines was renewed for a second oh. season. <laughs> it starts in summer. I, I heard it was one first... of the best shows ever. I love that show. Hey, you know, the first two or three episodes was fine. And then it got <laughs> stupid. Really stupid. Ah. <sighs> Uh, really stupid. How Jordan and Jonathan Stewart have been confirmed to be the lead characters in Green Lantern Corps uh, film. The film will be released in 2020, so I'm sure this will change. Will Jordan and Stewart. Yeah. CGI costumes? So no, I hope. So no Kyle Rayner or Guy Gardner? I, hope, I guess not. Uh, Matthew McConaughey is, in, is playing the role of the evil man in black slash Walter O. Dim in the upcoming adaptation of the Stephen King's Dark Tower. And is now, according to Deadline, Idris Elba... It doesn't work down up here. <laughs> Emerge as the front row runner to take the lead of Roland Deschain. Any thoughts? Does uh, Matthew McConaughey drive a Buick in that uh, 
black man in the tower. Oh, he's rolling a booger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, does, does black man say all right, all right, all right a lot? I don't know. Is right. it going to lead to the series or just the Dark Tower? Now, who knows? I don't think they know anymore, to be honest. It's, supposedly it's a trilogy. Time. Honestly, I straight, honestly uh, the Dark Tower is a fantastic. Do you need it as a movie? Do you need Matthew McConaughey? Not necessarily, but if it's done, again, if it's done right, it actually could be really, really good. So I'm hoping they no, will hold out some, some movie or, or series. Movie. It's a movie? It's a movie. Oh. It's going to be, they're talking about they're doing gonna it. They're going to do the four or five. Isn't it's a Dark yeah. Tower, like, way too big to make as a movie? Yeah, Ron Howard's it's trying to put it. It's split into two, guaranteed, and they might even try to do three. Yeah. Which means they're going to add stuff to the book that wasn't there. And I mean, all the other yeah. bullshit, which is sucks. And The Hobbit was only like 300 pages. That made three movies. But this is what makes me Why the hell can't... Why does it have to... It doesn't have to be a trope. Just make it two. Make it two. If that's what you got to do is do two. Do two. Don't do three. You or, don't need to do or three. Or one... Four hour uh, movie. Don't, yeah, four hours. <laughs> like a stand. <laughs> yeah, the stand. That's right. You don't have to do three. Just do three, but break up three into two movies. Oh wait, that's Mocking Jay. Never mind. No. Uh, let's see. We also have the Leftovers was renewed for a third and final season. I still watch that. So Blake's at least excited about that one. That's why I did it. I actually, uh, you know, they said it's probably one of the best dramas on TV. Actually, believe it or not, and I, I would say it's gotten really cool. Okay. Yeah. I like the concept. I stuck with it through the entire first season. In you know, the book uh, was depressing. As my fun. wife, yeah, my wife and I are like, why in the Show hell are we more, watching this? Show's even more depressing, man. It's just. And then uh, season two started off pretty neat and weird and different, and then it got really cool. Doesn't I mean, somebody get naked? Yes. Naked or naked? Yes. Naked. I think it's Blake while he's watching. <laughs> 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 he watches frame by frame on his VHS. That's right, frame by frame on the VHS. I just go back uh, yeah, to the one. And there is your news of the geek. Wow, it's time to grab your balls of fury. It's plot lines with Jeff and Jason. Also, Blake and number one fan dog and. Chris Bednar and Fish are here for Plotline. Dittman had to leave. Yes. Thank you, Paul, for showing up. Thank you for the excellent gift. Yes. Uh, Merry Christmas and all that other jazz. Yes. But uh, now we're on to Plotlines. And who's it from? Uh, Plotlines from Randall Holt. He wants to know, to all a good night. Okay. So, for all those who haven't listened, we take a movie we've never seen or don't know nothing about. Someone throws a title and we try to pick the... uh, the, the plot of the movie and uh, one or maybe two stars that might be in the movie. Uh, I saw To All a Good Night is from 1980. Jason, okay. you got an idea? I think it's going to be um, coming of age story. Coming of age story. <laughs> a young girl. Of a young kid named uh, Nicholas. Uh, it's how he grows up to become Santa Claus and uh, his struggles. And uh, it's going to be played kind of as a family film, but also kind of, you know, somewhat serious. Like an ABC family show movie. Uh Uh, I'm going with that. It's just, you know, how he grew up in an orphanage. I don't know if that's true. I'm just going with it. Uh, He grew up in an orphanage, had some struggles. Uh, He found his first love, a.k.a. future Mrs. Claus. And, uh, you know, he he befriended the reindeer that lived in the woods next to his orphanage. um, (laughs) That he, you know... (laughs) Uh, and then basically, you know, he just learns the true meaning of, you know, Christmas. He was a little bitter, a little so kid. They're saying it's Santa Claus is coming to town without Burgermeister Meister Burger. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can I go with that? I'm going with that. Who, who do you have starting in it? Uh, Jonathan Taylor Thomas from Home Improvement back from in the day. From 1980? Oh, it was from 1980. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was Jonathan Taylor Thomas was Zygo. Two, maybe? Um, maybe. maybe. Uh, I'm going with Mark Hamill. Okay. <laughs> Next, anyone? Uh, it's a horror movie. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely going horror movie. Yeah, on. yeah me too. Go ahead. Something uh, happened on Christmas. I'm going to say this guy's parents were killed, and so every Christmas he goes on a killing spree. He sneaks into people's houses and kills them. Nice. Yeah, that actually is kind of a, the way I, I was I, thinking. Yeah. Oh, that sounds like the. That oh. sounds like that Krampus movie that's coming out. <laughs> Krampus, <laughs> Krampus, whatever it is. Yeah, uh, Krampus. What do you do? What is that bl- movie, Blake? You talked about uh, Krampus last week. It's uh, what my wife gets every month. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check it. What if I told you? 
<laughs> that as you sleep, elves control your dreams. And they give you nightmarish images of children being destroyed by those not receiving the Christmas gift they wanted. Screaming children who didn't get the gifts that haunt you all night long. That sounds like Krampus. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that it's your... nothing like Krampus! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Fish, you got anything? No, not at okay. all. Good. Oh, and uh, it would oh. star Willow. Oh, Warwick Davis. Or Val Kilmer. He's the elf that controls your dream. Okay. I thought it was Bullet Smith he was talking about. Whip your hair back hey. and forth. Whip your hair back and forth. Whip your hair back and forth. Get me his back. I got that. Oh, he's, he's leaving. leaving. <laughs> oh, he's just going to the bathroom. You're okay. Uh, Jeff, what's your pick? Uh, I was pretty close to Doug there. Uh, you know, you're going to join him? I'll join Doug. Oh, yeah. We have to pick someone who started it. Uh, Vin Diesel. 1980. <laughs> he's a little bit Vin Diesel. No. 1980, um... I'll say the person bidding, you know, going after this year, you know, the young innocent girl. I'll go Susan Olsen. What? She she was Cindy Brady on the break. Okay. Oh. This is supposed to be her big comeback. Blake, you got anything? Guess. I got nothing. Okay, good. <laughs> You're really contributing this episode. <laughs> I didn't do my homework. Uh, neither did we. Oh. Uh, okay, so what is the plot line? Uh, it looks like a group of teenagers at a party find themselves being stalked by a maniacal killer in a Santa Claus costume. Oh. Bad it's Santa. Christmas break at Calvin Finishing School for Girls, and the students are planning a big party while the president of the school is away. A group of boys show up, and the fun begins Here. until a mysterious killer starts bumping off couples one by one. Hmm. The police show up and promise to keep everyone safe, but they prove ineffectual against the crazed psycho. Could the killings have anything to do with the girl who was killed at the initiation stunt at the school a few years earlier? Is this Scream Queens? Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> who stars? Uh, Jennifer Runyon. Right. Forrest Swanson. Oh, yeah. Linda Gentile. Oh, I love Linda Gentile. William Water, Judith Bridges, Kiva Lawrence. Okay, yeah, we know. I heard of Jennifer Runyon. Wasn't she in Charles in Charge? Charles in Charge of you and me. Harry Reams is in it. <laughs> Who's Harry Reams? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, old school porn star. <laughs> okay, so there's he your plot. pilot, Dan Stryker. <laughs> uh, plot lines. Thank you, Randall. Uh, we don't have anything uh, with box office because, uh, well, you know, we're not see- uh, soothsayers. We can't see the future. Oh, no, no, no. Box office, number one at the box office this past week was Star Wars The Force Awakens. Okay. With tons and tons of money. Okay. Uh, and up, nothing of interest is opening until Christmas Day when, like, uh, I got the, the movies. Eight come out. Oh. I, no, uh, Concussion. Oh, Concussion. Oh, you do have the movies. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is on Christmas Day. Daddy's Home with Will Ferrell, which looks okay. Yeah, might be okay. Joy, which does not yeah, look uh, good. Okay, no, no. The Will Ferrell Daddy's Home movie, that does not look okay. <laughs> that looks anything but okay. <laughs> Simmer down over there, Fish. You watch Grown Ups, okay? Just calm down. No, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> not a chance. Uh, and uh, the Jennifer Lawrence movie. Uh, and the worst uh, film, that it just looks bad. Point Break. It looks better than the original. I'm not, not, not saying much. No, and but... People who are fans of the original, I'm sorry, you have no taste. But uh, you, you, you yeah. don't have The Hateful Eight. That comes out on December 25th. Does it? Yeah. I can miss it. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. Star Wars still will be making eighty million that week. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Buy sell. Buy Will sell. Ferrell. Will Ferrell. Um, sell, sell him. Sell 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 sell. Yeah. Anyone else? I'll buy it because you always sell. Okay. Blake, what are you doing? Uh, I would. He's he's pretty high, still valued. Mm-hmm. So. Buy. Uh, yeah, I'll sell. Okay. <laughs> Fish. I'm selling him. Okay. Sell, sell him while you got okay. it high. Sell. Uh, we got Mark Wahlberg. Marky Mark. Mark. All right, buy or sell Marky Mark. I'll this sell. is assuming I would be interested in Marky Mark stock. <laughs> <laughs> I would if he's making a happening too. <laughs> I would I would buy Marky Mark stock. He's been a little low recently. I think he's ready to have another hit come out. Donnie Wahlberg, I would buy, but not Marky Mark. He does a lot of <laughs> producing and stuff too. So he does do I'd that. Buy on it because he he could actually be. I honestly think production wise, he could be better than as than his actor. acting wise. I will be buying, because I have it on good authority, Mark Wahlberg, one has three nipples. And I've been told people with three nipples, you always want, you always want to have them. 
Okay. Uh, Will Smith. I'm going Will Smith. Uh, buying or selling? I think I'm selling Will Smith. I think he's overpriced right now, and he's probably going to be really high priced for a while. So I'll sell right now and wait till him dip back down. I'm buying because he's going to be dead shot in Suicide Squad, and supposedly he has a part in Batman v Superman. No, that was the Batman. Oh no, the Batman movie. Yeah. Sorry, the Batman movie. And uh, I'm going by. I'm by. I hope he makes an After Earth too. I hope so. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> really hope. I'd buy. Yep. Buy, buy. Yeah. Fish? I'll buy. Okay. Blake? Sure. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. Uh, wrap it up with top five geek wishes for next year. Top five! Uh, this week is top five geek wishes for the new year. Yay, the Yay. new year. Uh, who, what do we got? Uh, fish, you got one? No, good. Yeah, okay. I, oh, I, you do. I, I looked one up. Okay, oh, what's your top like, five key quick? <laughs> hey, I looked one up like three seconds ago. It sounds good. Uh, the Killing Joke becomes a movie. Oh, look at you. Do you even know what that is? Yeah, I just read it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you just read the entire book? Yes. <laughs> Ouch. Wow. Well, there went my number two. <laughs> I got that. No, it wasn't. Uh, Blake, what's your number five? Uh, my number five geek wish is that I hope that the new Star Wars doesn't suck. That's yeah. my number That's three. My number <laughs> I'll put that at number you. five also. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. I'll Thank just you. move everything else up one. <laughs> there you go. Yep, that was my five. I just hope it doesn't suck. I just hope I walk out of that movie theater well, going, hey, that was a good flick. I like it. Other than walking out going, this is bullshit, man. I'll, I'll go one step farther. I hope it's actually great. I agree. And I'm granted, I hope it doesn't suck. But, yeah, you know, I'm hell, I might as well go, it's great. Yeah. That's what I wish yeah, for. That's what I'm yeah, up to the hype, though. Oh, yeah. yeah that's I'm what like, I've been trying to keep it down. Hard, I haven't even watched really any of the trailers except I'm the like, two big ones I'm they like, sent I out. Don't get excited about it. I assume the worst. Especially when the Dark Lords charge our bings. No, that would be great. That would make the movie so much better. Uh, Jeff, what's your number five? My number five was I hope that the okay. Star Wars doesn't Doug? suck. Okay, I'm, I'm going to guess nobody's going to get mine, so they're all Disney related. Oh, goody. So, oh, good. Damn. That's not on my list anyway. That's what I figured. <laughs> I hope Toy Story Land is as good as Cars Land. Where's Toy Story Land going? It will be going to Disney Hollywood Studios. Oh. Cars Land is out of Disney's California yes. Adventure. So it'll be fantastic. That's my wish. Okay. I'll give you that. So you've been to Cars Land? No, but I hear it. Oh, okay. My wife won't work 80 hours a week, so I can afford to go. Oh, out. man. Good Let's just give She's me kind of selfish, isn't uh, she? A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> uh, what's yours? I had Star Wars not sucking. Five. Uh, my number five is uh, Nicolas Cage keeps making movies. Uh, that's my number Ow! five. I'm pretty sure you'll get that with <laughs> that hurt. He is Ow! awesome. It's some good podcast specials with, uh, you know. Funny, uh, I think I might change my number four to Nicolas Cage stops making movies. <laughs> Put the bunny down. Uh, that was my number five. Uh, my number four is... Um, I don't know. I got a couple here. Uh, we're going to say that I hope Avatar crashes and burns. Can we say that? You can't say that. Okay, I'm going Avatar. I hope it crashes and burns. Yeah, I hate Avatar. I fucking hate Screw Avatar. Avatar. I didn't like the first movie, and I think it's terrible that they've already planned on three more. Oh, it's going to be great. Well, actually, along that lines, I hope that if, if on the Avatar reboot that my friend and fraternity brother who worked on Avatar gets to do the second Avatar... So, huh. Well, I, I, I certainly made a lot of money on it. Got I certainly want him to have employment and make money. So could I'll he agree come with on that. our show? Uh, actually, I, I bet. You, let me ask Jason. I should ask Jason Brown to come on our show. I will bet you would. He just come on our show, show wrapping up his own as we insult his movie. Well, I hope about Avatar does well. well. Totally dig it. Like, trust me, he's uh, one of our fraternity. We talk about guy. Avatar. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 um, I'm changing it. I hope uh, we get uh, somebody from Avatar on our show. I'm going to talk. I swear, I will talk to him. See if he wants to come on the show sometime. Since Tara Reid won't. What's he doing? Got a legitimate director out there and uh, he's directed his first movie his first uh, it was only a short so okay. he's, he's getting there what did you do on Avatar he actually I think he was oh I mean this was obviously years and mm. years ago I think he was a, a boom handler I think he <laughs> handled <laughs> he's hey, on if you so watch 25 paid, minutes yeah. of the of the credits he's on there man <laughs> shout out to you JB hey it's better being the boom operator on that than on a porn 
So at least you won't get fluids hitting you. Uh, well, well, that's well, that's my pick of what I would be in a horror movie. movie. Yeah, I know, we don't know. I mean, you gotta you gotta make a paycheck still. So you don't want to talk about his fucker uh, but days. But my number uh, my number four is that somebody fi- somebody finally revives and reboots the Phil- Philip Pullman uh, his Dark Materials trilogy. Well, hopefully they do it good at least. Right, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Because yeah. Golden Compass was it was not bad. a good movie. Not um, a good movie. But I really think now with with what you can do in in Hollywood, you really could put those. You could do something with those movies. I've never read the books. I'm assuming <coughs> if you want them yeah. to be rebooted and whatnot, they, they could be done very very well with the right with the right director. So. Uh, Doug, number four. Uh, you know, funny you should mention Avatar. Oh, I hope Pandora, the land of Avatar opening at Disney's Animal Kingdom as as good as possible. <laughs> I hope it doesn't suck as bad as it will. I've never watched the movies. I have no interest in the movies. But they usually do fairly decent work on okay. environments. So I hope it's I hope it's good. Well, it is a nice, big, beautiful tree in the movie, so maybe they'll get that right. Possibly. Uh, they're, supposed have, they're supposed to have floating mountains. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's your number four? Uh, my number four is I hope to play more Dungeons and Dragons this upcoming year. In <laughs> <laughs> Yes. So in other words, he hopes been, Blake does not die. Yeah, uh, we've kind of been on a hiatus because schedules and whatnot uh, don't mix. And that's correct. Well, you have three while. weeks without Hobie. Yeah, right in the middle of the holiday. Right the holiday. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, true. We'll have to we'll have to sit down and get that straightened out. I agree. Maybe I can make. Your wish come true. Aww. <laughs> That's disgusting. Four. What's your four, Blake? Uh, my four is I want to be in uh, both my uh, fantasy sports championships next year. Okay. <laughs> wow, yeah. Now, now, now I kind of, yeah. I would, well, since, since I've beaten the crap out of Jason in fantasy hockey this week. There you go. I, I'm hoping, you know, I finally take the hockey championships since I've been an also ram every other year. <laughs> what about you, Fish? You got anything? Uh, no. Okay. No, he uh, just had one. Blake, what's your number three? My number three is please, God, let the Cleveland Browns have a winning season. <laughs> we said 2016, not 2026 wishes. Uh, you didn't, you know. Specify. <laughs> Specify. <laughs> okay, Jeff. Um, Poor Browns. I don't think the movie is actually going to come out in 26, but or, or 16. I mean, <laughs> you got me confused now. <laughs> Uh, but I really want them to not screw up Ready Player One when they make that a movie. Okay. You've been a big fan of that? Oh, well, man, I've talked about it too many times. So, mm-hmm. Doug, what's number three? Uh, the Maelstrom Ride, which is being redone <laughs> with Frozen. I hope it doesn't suck. <laughs> <laughs> what's the name of the ride? It, the Maelstrom, which is in Norway in Epcot. Ah. But they're putting Frozen characters on it. Oh, that makes sense. So it's in Norway and it's cold. Out th- oh, I get it. Sure. <laughs> uh, ben R, three. My number three is that Jason meets Kevin James in person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he said he was going to like punch him, didn't he? <laughs> Kevin James might punch me, but no, I thought you said if you ever met no, him in person, no, no. Punch I him, have like, too right much respect throat. for his right artwork. Right in the throat. I, I said, think you said that. No, I have too much respect for Kevin James's <laughs> work. Big Ben and Mall Cop, or yeah, Mall Cop. Yeah, I love Paul Wall or King of Queens. Which one? Oh, King of Queens. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Only two annoying people in that one. <laughs> Really? You didn't find, uh, what's her name, annoying? Uh, no, that's Sullivan? Leah, Leah Redmond. No, no, the other, uh, Sullivan. Uh, no, Sullivan. Them were. <laughs> I, brought, I brought Pez as your gifts, but uh, I really actually Googled uh, Kevin James' blow-up doll for you. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> makes one. <laughs> wow. This is why Hendo's winning Floppy of the Year. For a uh, let's see. Uh, number three for me was Star Wars Doesn't Disappoint. Uh, number two. Wait, that doesn't count. We all said that. Yeah, no, I said that was three. That was number three. It knocked me off the list. Calm down there, Doctor. See, it's on the board. It's right there on the board. It says oh, Jason's right. number no, three. Was taken. Yeah. Uh, my number two <laughs> is uh, WWE wrestling turns the corner and gets better. That's why I'm hoping that it they let the young guys. Worse, I'm it? hoping the young guys, they let them actually wrestle and step up and do well. Shut it, Blake. I don't even want to hear your comment. <laughs> he wasn't listening. Uh, <laughs> He's like, I don't even know what you're talking about. That was what? my number two. Three, two. Do, you, uh-huh. do you think Seamus being in the new no. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie <laughs> is going to bring in a wider audience? Maybe that's what they I do. hope so. I hope so. That's why he's champ. 
You paused there for a second there, Doug. I thought you said, do you think Seamus being in the nude? <laughs> no, 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 we don't want that. So it still exists? Like, Shut it. Shut it. Yeah, yeah, stop. I thought it was just syndicated. Did you know it's fake? Did you know it's fake? Okay. No, I just thought it was syndicated. Okay. All they no, the I think it's a real network now. Yeah, their network is awesome. Well, Wait, you network now for all. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's my number one wish is that I get my, my own, own network. network. <laughs> What's your number two? Ben my number Mar? two is uh, we f- will finally get to see Carl's eye socket. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we want some dads. <laughs> it has right. a special purpose. Coming, right? It has a special it's purpose. It's coming. It's got me. It's got me. <laughs> it's time to skull fuck. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Uh, Doug, what's your number two? Uh, just because Disney owns Star Wars, that the off-year Star Wars movies, like the Rogue mm-hmm. Squadron, I hope they're great. I do too. I hope they. I'm actually come excited through. for Rogue Squadron. I'm yeah, excited for that. Could be good. Jeff, number two. Uh, my number two is I'm hoping for a, you know, a new uh, series of uh, the internet show uh, Tabletop with uh, Will Wheaton. Will hoping Wheaton for a new one and a good Will one Wheaton. and a fun one. Hoyton. I've enjoyed that, and yep, yeah, it's my geek wish number two. Okay, uh, Blake, number two. I'd like to see a uh, live action Star Blazers. Yeah, you would. You've mentioned mm-hmm. that before. Yeah. I'm going to say yes. Sure. Yeah. I'm going. To, okay. Sign What's it up. What, what, what would the uh, uh, meeting sound like if they're getting ready to sign up uh, Star Blazers live action? Ah, <laughs> uh, <I don't> <laughs> What's your number one, Blake? <laughs> Oh, my number one. My number one is uh, if uh, Dragonlance series could get the Game of Thrones treatment. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that would be interesting. Because uh, you know they've they've done the cartoon thing with Dragonlance. They've done it. Did they? It's really? just, yeah, it's all this all this fucking piece of shit. Oh, so don't watch it. <laughs> don't even fucking waste your time. Okay. Uh, Jeff, what's your number one? Uh, my number one is I'm hoping for every single comic movie that comes out, specifically the Marvel Universe ones, to be good. Yeah, I had, uh... Okay, I'll... I mean, I'll I, I want them all. I mean, I, I want Batman and Superman, Cole and Don of whatever... Justice. ...to not... To, to, to be good. I'm not putting high hopes on it, but I want it to be good. I want Deadpool to be good. I want Captain America to be good. I want the new X-Men to be good. And I want them all to be good. I do. All okay. of them. Every single one. I'd like a spoof to come out just called Captain America. Captain America. <laughs> he wears an M on his yeah, yeah. Well, the quote, the hyphen, the, the little hyphen hook, M. Yeah. Starring, so they, Larry, starring Larry the Cable, the cable Guy. guy. Yeah. Larry the Cable Guy. America. Now that's know, funny. That's funny right now. Right right with a are. shotgun. Not big funny. big uh, thing of chaw in his mouth. Uh, let's see. Number one, Doug, for you. Uh, Disney buys more intellectual properties and and... As they're doing with Star Wars and Marvel, keeping their hands off of them. Okay. Let them run themselves. Any particular you would like no, to I see don't them? Care. Smurfs. Until they Smurfs. rule the world. It's, okay. Blake would be a big fan of that. Uh, domination. Huh? That's right. They're not halfway there. Uh, yeah. They're uh, which halfway there. They only ben Arts are number one? Uh, my number one is that George R.R. R. Martin finally finishes and publishes Winds of Winter. <laughs> I wish I thought of that one. Oh, yes. my gosh. You're right. oh. Hey, I speaking of which, mine. you made a prediction that did not come true. I know. You said that the book would be out no. for Christmas. I know. It's not Christmas yet. False prophet. <laughs> yep. False prophet. And that's why he's wishing it comes that's out. That's why he's wishing it comes out next year. Desperately. <laughs> I desperately need it to come out next year, please. All right, Jason. He's going to put it out on 26 on yeah. purpose. <laughs> uh, kind of like Jeff. I hope the DC can launch a good universe. Ah. That's my number one. All right. So, All right. Uh, happy holidays, everybody. That wraps another episode up. Yay. Next week, we have the floppies. So, be ready. Be ready. Uh, you might win one. You might. You might. Uh, I, I can pretty much guarantee I won't Christmas. win one, though. Bad idea of the week? None. It's the holidays. It's Christmas time. No. Yeah. We, we just really can't have bad ideas when we're celebrating. No. No. Uh, we can be jealous, you know, of other musicians, but you know, this is the time of the year that we're not going to be jealous. No, we're not. But so, no bad idea. We may not have a bad idea, but we do have a great idea. Heno from Angela's Awesome Podcast also has this beautiful melody for the Christmas season. Enjoy. <laughs> Okay, we ready? Sound good in there? All right, cool. All right, uh, Alan Sherman, 12 Days of Christmas parody for History of Bad Ideas, take one. 
On the first day of Christmas, Hobie gave to me a Japanese transistor radio. On the s- what? Really? Um, all right. Okay, all right, I, I can do it, okay. Uh, Alan Sherman, 12 Days of Christmas, Parody for History of Bad Ideas, take two. On the first day of Christmas, Hobie gave to me a history of bad ideas, I owe you. On the second day of Christmas, Hobie gave to me green polka dot pajamas and a history of bad ideas, I... What? R- really? Well, that too? Um, okay, all right. All right, okay, we'll, uh, we'll take it from the top again. All right, uh, Alan Sherman, 12 Days of Christmas Parody for History of Bad Ideas, take three. On the first day of Christmas, Hobie gave to me a history of bad ideas, I owe you. On the second day of Christmas, Hobie gave to me two IOUs and a history of bad ideas, I owe you. It's a Nakashuma. On the third day of Christmas, Hobie gave to me a calendar book with the name of my insurance man, two IOUs and a... Now what? Are you serious? They didn't get the calendar book? Uh, okay, uh, all right, fine, fine, fine. All right, can, can you just dub this in? Just, just dub this in. I, I don't want to start from the beginning again, okay? All right, all right, cool. Let's see, where am I? Uh, Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Three IOUs, two IOUs, and a history of bad ideas, IOU. It's better than money. On the fourth day of Christmas, Hobie gave to me. Are you, really? Nothing? Not the whole thing? I mean, what the fuck? what the fuck am I doing this song for then? Uh, all right, fine. I'm, you know what? I'm done. I'm done. I just, let's just get this over with, okay? 12 IOUs, 11 IOUs, 10 IOUs, 9 IOUs, 8 IOUs, 7 IOUs, 6 IOUs, 5 IOUs, 4 IOUs, 3 IOUs, 2 IOUs, and a history of bad ideas, I owe you. From walking dead to talking heads, from comic books to TV sets, there's a history of not so bad, there's the history. It's the history of bad, so bad. The history of bad, it's bad. The history of bad ideas. Oh, yeah. You are now leading the world of Musings of a Geek Podcast Network. Stay geeky, my friends. <laughs>